Hi, I make some changes in my CNC machine and I'm thinking to show you some of them. So, let's take a closer look. I make this handle for the stepper motors so I can move it manually in the position that I want. I install this emergency stop so I can stop the machine like that when it's running. And it's easy, of course, to undo this. Finally, one of the most important things in my CNC machine has been arrived. This is the famous 1.5 kW Chinese spindle. It has a maximum speed of 24,000 RPMs. It is a relative quiet motor. And this version is the air cooled one. So, okay, it's make a little noise more than the water cooled. But by far, I'm very pleased with the results that it's given. Okay, let's hear how it sounds in various speeds. This is about 6000 RPMs. And this is about 12. Thousand RPMs. This is around eighteen thousand RPMs, and this is maxed out at twenty-four thousand RPMs. Now, this motor is controlled with a VFT driver. The VFT stands for Variable Frequency Driver and is this black box over here. This is the 1.5 kW version 1 and let me show you how it works. You have to set the frequency you want and this is will be determine the speed that the motor run. You can adjust of course the frequency to adjust the speed and of course you can make coarse and fine adjustments. Now the VFT have some power requirements that let me to choose a better switch and also it generates a big amount of noise that is causing troubles in the signal wires so I choose some capacitors to do the filtering. I will come back to this topic at the end of the video. Now that is some test results with the motor. Can you guess what is that? It is my new robotic arm that is working correctly. It have the power to grab some items. The design is based on an item that I found on Thingiverse. Of course, I modified to work with my servo. And that's it. It's just for fun. A nice toy to have. So, let's go back to the breakout board to show you some tricks. The idea here is to explain you why I use a capacitor for filtering and I will be using a oscilloscope to help me with that. Now, the spindle and the steppers is off, so what we see in the screen is a steady 5 volt, and this is the ground point. So, let's open the steppers to see what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So, we are seeing about uh, 0.5 volt peak-to-peak uh, -peak noise, this is nothing, it's gonna work like a treat. So let's open the spindle. And uh, we are seeing some noise now. Let's measure it. And it's still okay. It's about 1.7 volts. I have worked with the settings and I verified that it's work very well. So I know what you're thinking. What if we remove the capacitor and work without it? What is gonna happen? 
Well, I'm glad you asked. We're going to find out. So only the stepper is active now and we see about 2.5 volt of noise which is okay it's gonna work but well if we open the spindle we're gonna find that well the noise is gonna dominate the screen we not even need to measure this it's not going to work even for a second so I know what you're thinking again why electrolytic capacitor why not use a ceramic capacitor well let's do this so it's working about the same but the electrolytic is a little bit better so I'm going to prefer this over the ceramic and uh, what about uh, fall and rise time? Well, let's uh, get a measurement. And uh, there you go. We're interested most in the falling time because this is what the Linux can see. It's gonna register as uh, limit switch hit and it's about 0.5 millisecond so yes it's pretty good and uh, don't worry about the rise time it's not affecting anything so let's try the low pass filter option we're gonna use a 91 ohms resistor and a 33 microfarad capacitor. So we're gonna have roughly 100 hertz cutoff frequency. And uh, wait a minute, what's going on? Something is not uh, right here. It must be lower, not more. Aha! Well, let me chance. I probed the wrong side of this. And uh, yes, that is the result that I'm looking for. Um, it's about 1 volt. It's pretty good, but we are losing the falling time. So, well, let me show you. Let's take a measurement and there you go. It's about uh, 5 millisecond falling time, and this is uh, very bad for uh, limit switch. So, I'm not going to use uh, this method, I'm going to use a simple electrolytic capacitor without any resistors. And uh, that's it for today. I hope you like the video and uh, as always, a sneak peek into the future. That's it. Bye.